this video, I'm gonna show you how to install this wire shelving in this closet. And we're gonna do it right now. First things first, I want to address a comment that I've gotten in other videos and I will probably get on this one and it goes a little something like this. Oh, Matt, why would you do wire shelving? It's ugly, it's gross, it's cheap looking. Guys, relax. It's not your house, you don't have to look at it. The thing I like about this shelving is it's so easy to install. And the way I'm gonna do this closet, it's gonna be completely adjustable. And in case you didn't know, this room is going to be the bedroom of my twin boys that are on the way. And we have no idea what we're doing with anything, let alone how to organize their closet. So I wanna make it completely adjustable so that we can do whatever we need to do in there. And if we end up moving out of here, because we need a bigger house, the new owners will be able to adjust the shelves the way they want them. As I said, I'm gonna make this completely adjustable. So that's the first thing you need to decide when you're getting this stuff, is if you wanna make the shelves stationary or adjustable. And the only difference is that with stationary shelves, you put little clips on the back here, attach it to the wall, make sure it's level, and then you have little rods, support brackets that come down from the front. And that's really the only difference. So the way I'm showing you here is if you want adjustable wire shelving. In case you're wondering, the brand of these wire shelves and this whole system is Everbuilt. I'm not sponsored by them, but that is the brand. This is basically how it works. You have vertical rails that attach to the wall, and then you have brackets that lock into the rails just like that. And then you put your shelf on here. There's more steps than that, but that is basically it. And what they want you to use to start is this hang track. And what this does is you attach this to the wall so it's perfectly level, and then you lock these in just like that. And that is what supports these. And then you just put a couple screws into the wall. You can put them in with anchors. This is good to have if you have no idea where studs are or if you don't have a lot of studs. You can put anchors in through these holes, but I know exactly where the studs are and I built this closet, so I put one in the middle and one on each end. And in fact, they're three and a half inches wide. So I'm not gonna have a problem attaching those rails. And this right here is about $20 on its own. So I'm not using it. So let's take a look at the closet. Looks like a normal closet, and then you have this. And this is the kind of bulkhead for the basement stairs that was really unavoidable, um, so I had to have that there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the center here, and I'm gonna put a rail, and I'm gonna put a rail on each side, and I'm gonna bring this rail down a little further so that I have the option to put a smaller shelf right there, and then I can put full-size shelves up here however I want to. So first step, because I have a two by four on the flat in the corner and in the center, and on this corner, I'm gonna put one, two, three rails, and I have a four foot piece for this side, and then I have two five footers that I will drop down and put here and here. The key is, is to have these tops be totally level with each other. Otherwise, your shelves are gonna be out of level. That's one good thing about the hang track that I showed you. If you install that level, you can just hook these in wherever they need to go and you know they're at the same exact height. But since I'm not using that hang track, I just wanna make sure that they are nice and level so my shelves will be level. To hang these rails, I'm gonna use two inch cabinet hanging screws because I know they're strong and I have a ton left over from my kitchen. So I'm just gonna take my rail and hold it tight against the wall. Like I said, I know I have a stud there. Then I'm gonna attach my screws. And I'm gonna make sure I hold these screws tight to the top of this hole so that I'm supporting all the downward pressure and so these won't sink it all over time. So now to make sure these are all the same height, I cut a piece, 
nice straight piece of wood to the width of the closet. And I'm gonna hold it right here and level it and make my mark on this end in the center. Now I can measure to find the exact center, 18. I'm gonna take my five foot rail, hold it up, put a screw up top. Double check that, perfect. And now I wanna make sure this rail is plumb right there. And now you can see this is a little lower than this one, so I could put a shelf down here if I wanted to. Now this side, just hold it to my mark, hold it tight against that wall, screw it into place. Check a double decker. So now the brackets that hold the shelves in go in just like this. I got 16 inch brackets. You could also get 12 inch, depending on how deep you want the shelves. So now we can cut our shelves to the size of the closet. I'm just gonna subtract about a half inch just so it'll stay away from the wall a little bit so I don't have too much trouble getting it in there. The actual measurement of the closet is about 36 inches. So what I'm gonna do is cut off about a half inch. I just wanna make sure that the back attaches to the brackets. So just make sure you make this long enough where this will actually hook in and I'll show you that in detail when I install this. I'm gonna hook on here. So 35 and a half actually puts me just past this right here. So I'm gonna end up cutting this a little longer because of the tool I'm gonna to use to cut it. The good thing is I can always trim it. I'd rather cut it longer than shorter and trim it if I have to. You can cut this stuff a whole bunch of different ways. A sawzall with a metal blade, a cutoff wheel, a hacksaw, all kinds of things. What I'm gonna use is some giant bolt cutters because it's gonna be quick and easy and not make a ton of mess. So I'm going to go as tight as I can to this right here. And this is what I mean by it's probably going to be longer because I can't really get the bolt cutters too, too tight to that. And I'm going to cut it. And I'm just going to cut one, two, three, four more. And I just laid this down on the floor so it doesn't drop and mark up the floor or break something. Sweet. So after you cut your piece, you'll notice these ends are gonna be a little sharp. You can file them down. And what I like to do is get these little caps that you put on and that will just protect anybody and anything from these sharp edges. I think this is where I want my first shelf. So I put my brackets in all in the same location. A good reference is your screw here and then you can count the number of slots where you wanna put these brackets. Let's see if this shelf is gonna work. You go in at an angle like this. It's gonna go just like that. And then the front of this goes in first. So line this up and make sure the shelf locks in like that with the brackets. And then all you do is on the back side, you wanna push this down and into these brackets here and pull forward. And just like that, it's installed. Now, because I wanna give you a closer look back here and show you how to remove this, this is how you do it. You're just gonna give it a nice bump like this, take it off the back, take it off the front and remove it. But I'm gonna put it back so you can get a close-up shot back here of 
how it locks in. All right, so push it back and then it drops down like this and just pull it until it snaps in. Make sure it's snapped in everywhere. Let's cut another shelf. And put my little caps on. And now I can put shelves wherever I see fit until my wife tells me to move them. I'm just gonna put this one in for fun. <clears throat> and this was the leftover cut. So, might as well use it. But wait, there's more. I wanna have a closet rod on each of these shelves. Again, this is gonna be for baby's clothes, so I don't need a ton of room. This is the closet rod bracket. So you can either put it like this or like this. I'm gonna go this way, so that way the closet rod is closer to the middle of the closet, and it just locks down into place like that. I'm gonna put one on this side and one on the other side, take a measurement and cut it. This is also regular duty. Uh, all this stuff, all the shelves, all the brackets, and these closet rods, the closet rod itself is regular duty. They have heavy duty and they have light duty. I went with regular right in between. It's not gonna be a ton of weight here, so. Now with this measurement for the closet rod, I wanna make sure I cut plenty off because I'm gonna be putting these closet rod ca end caps on and I need at least an extra quarter of an inch cut off of here. And as you can see, these are way in this way. So I can probably cut off about an inch. That way I have no issues because the rod that overhangs this way is gonna be useless pretty much anyways. So I'm gonna cut this at 35 inches. So that's an inch less than the closet measurement. 35 inches marked right here. My regular duty closet rod. And I'm gonna use a sawzall with a metal blade and I just used some tape to try not to scuff this up too much. I have a nice metal saw in the basement, but that's all the way in the basement. I'm gonna clean up this cut with a file just to get any of the sharp edges off of here. I can put the end cap on carefully. Just give it a little tap tap a -roo with my hammer. It's another way to avoid getting cut or anything snagged on this. And I'm just gonna put one on the other side. Sweet. Stickers everywhere. And all I do is pop that in here. And it locks right down. And the majority of clothes that are gonna be in here are gonna be just like that. How cute is that? So for right now, the majority of the clothes are gonna be a little something like this. So I can put clothes up here, diapers, clothes, diapers, probably diapers right there, maybe some diapers right here. And then you can stack clothes in here if you want, and then diapers, and then you put diapers on the top, and then diapers over here. So much room for diapers, this is great. And then when they get older, or if things change, we don't like it the way it is, we can move it wherever we want. That honestly, if I wasn't filming it, probably would have taken me about 15 minutes. So I hope this video helped you if you are planning on doing some wire shelves like this. If you don't wanna do them, don't do them. Easy as that. If you wanna see more videos like this, you can click hereish and hereish and check those out. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely consider it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, you thought I was joking about the diapers.
This video is not brought to you by Pampers, although it should be.